Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to continue with our Salesforce Industries and the Velocity series. So in this video, we are going to see how we can handle the bracket conditions that is the and or or conditions in the bracket of the SOQL query using a data raptor extract. So let's start. So starting with the basics, what are data raptors? So data raptors are the no code tool uh, provided in the Omni Studio or the Velocity package. Uh, uh, to create records in Salesforce, query those records, and then uh, there is a data raptor transform to transform a JSON from one format to another. So there are four types of data raptors. Uh, one is extract, turbo extract, load, and transform. So the extract is to uh, query records from one or more objects. Turbo extract is to query uh, from only one single object. Uh, data raptor load is to create records in create multiple uh, records for uh, different objects in salesforce uh, data raptor transform as i said is for transforming json uh, now uh, we have a condition we, have, we want to handle the SQL query bracket conditions in the dr raptor uh, dr extract data raptor so how to handle such a query so let's take an example where we want to query all the cases of an account with the status as new or working. So in, in the SQL query, it would be something like select ID from case where account ID uh, is equal to some value and status is equal to working or status is equal to new in a bracket. So, but we can't directly do this in the, uh, this bracket condition in the data raptor. So this is a limitation of data raptor. So, uh, to resolve it, the workaround is you'll have to do something like uh, where account ID is this and status is working or account ID is this and status is new. So we'll have to repeat the account ID multiple times. So this is uh, one of the workaround for this limitation. So uh, since we can only use the and or or brackets in the data or conditions in the data raptor. So let me go to the Salesforce org and show you. So this is my Salesforce Velocity org. I have created one data raptor. And uh, firstly, what I have tried is I have added an and condition and an or conditions to see how data raptor, we won't be able to do uh, this simple condition using a data raptor. So this will give us the wrong output. If I go to preview, if I click on execute, so uh, you, we, we got the value, but if you go to debug log, you can see that uh, the condition is something like this, but we want the condition to be account ID is this or uh, status is equal to working uh, or status is equal to new. So for that to happen, we'll have to use something like this, uh, where account ID is equals to this and status is equal to working or account ID is this and status is equal to new. That means we'll have to repeat account ID multiple times. So what I'll do is I'll go to output. I'll uh, disable this, the wrong output and I'll enable the right output. Now I'll go to preview. I'll click on execute. So you can see this time we have only got two values that are related to an account and this is the second query that executed uh, which we have modified in the output uh, tab. So now you can see it is uh, querying like where account ID is this and status is working or account ID is this and status is equal to new. So this is how you can uh, query uh, the records, uh, the bracket condition, handle the bracket conditions in a circle query uh, of a circle query using a data raptor extract. So thanks everyone for watching this video and do subscribe to this channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.